Okay, so first let's start with the bananas. Um, I didn't have any ripe bananas, so I baked these in the oven uh, at 300 degrees for about 40 minutes. And you can see the skin's completely black, but it uh, helps to ripen the uh, the bananas on the inside. So if you don't have ripe bananas, you know, you're making an internet video for your YouTube channel and uh, you need some ripe bananas, just uh, throw them in the oven for just a little while and uh, you'll get these things. Okay, so take a fork and uh, <coughs> what you want to do is just mash these bananas. You know, they're uh, they're probably going to get mashed as we go um, anyway, so you don't have to get too you know concerned with like completely creaming them. But, you know, you want to get these ma bananas kind of mashed up so that they're ready to receive the deliciousness. Okay, so the next step is to uh, get yourself a uh, stick of butter, a one-half cup, and uh, just cut it into bits and put it into a microwave-safe vessel, like a glass or, um, well, I don't know, a piece of Tupperware, I guess, if, if, you've got, if that's all you've got. Anyway, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then uh, it'll melt it, turn it into this delicious golden liquid, and then uh, you're going to take Mr. Whisk here and uh, just bash the bananas into the uh, into the buttery uh, goodness there until it's all sort of combined. And I mean, like, if we were being honest, you could probably just eat this, and uh, it would probably be delicious, you know, because <laughs> it's butter and bananas. But uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add uh, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar and just uh, integrate that right in there. And uh, if you don't have a whisk, you could just use a spatula or you could just use a fork or... I mean, you know, if you've got a mashed potato masher, you could use one of those, or your fist. You could just squeeze it between your fingers. Any any, any old thing you want to do. All right, so one teaspoon of uh, vanilla that's going in there, followed by one large egg. And uh, I know it's large. I, I checked. It was large. Uh, okay, so just to uh, integrate that, mix it together, use, uh, you know, use your tool and smush it until it's all done. All right, so now we're on to dry ingredients. First thing you do, one teaspoon of uh, fresh and natural baking soda. And then uh, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Next thing that's coming is uh, one cup. Well, that's a three fourths of a cup. Here comes. There we go. That's one cup of flour. And then we need a half cup of uh, cocoa powder. That's a quarter, and that's a quarter. Two quarters equals. That's right. Fifty cents. And fifty cents is all you need. All right. Take a whisk, a fork, or whatever, and. Uh, just integrate, mix this stuff together until it's uh, this kind of pale gray color. If you use a dark chocolate, which, I mean, why not? If you've got dark chocolate, man, you should maybe use it with dark chocolate. It'll turn black. So just depending on the color of the cocoa you use, that'll dictate the color of the, the dry ingredients. Okay, so you can see here I've uh, transferred the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients bowl. And uh, I, I'm realizing pretty quickly here that the whisk is the wrong choice. So, you know, use a fork. Um, men use forks. Whisks, that's for, that's for sissies. Don't forget to scrape down the sides, too. I'm going to use a spatula to scrape my sides because I've got one, but you could just use that fork. It'll, it'll get the job done. All right, so once you're done scraping down the sides, we're going to pour in one half cup of delicious chocolate chips. That's right, more chocolate. Don't call this triple chocolate banana bread for nothing. So just get those integrated. You just want to, I mean, barely. You're not you're just kind of folding them in, basically. All right, so uh, you could bake these in one loaf pan, like a normal bread loaf pan if you'd like, or I'm going to use, i got this specialty pan here. It's got six little loaves. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to do six little loaves here. Uh, I'm going to use that spatula from before and just kind of scrape uh, six little chunks. But if you just had one, you know, pan, then obviously you just make one, and you just put it all into one pan hole. All right, so uh, here we go. we got the fourth one. And look, th I'm, I'm not pretending like I divided this into six perfect chunks. I'm going to put the first six chunks in, then see, I'll just mash the remainder, just kind of divide it until it looks like it's even. And then uh, you're going to take one half cup of dark chocolate chunks, and you're just going to cover the surface with these chocolate chunks. And if you had one pan, you know, of course, you just cover the one pan. In this case, we've got six. And if you had a cupcake pan, like an adult, then you could make cupcakes like this. So just, you know, whatever your world is. All right, so you're going to jam these into a preheated 350-degree oven. And uh, try not to burn yourself. Be careful. Push the... There you go. See, I used the glove. And uh, after about 55 or 60 minutes, 65 minutes, somewhere in there, just uh, pull those bad boys right on out of the oven there. And the way you can check to see if they're done is uh, poke them with a toothpick. And if the toothpick comes out and doesn't have any junk on it, well, then you'll know they're done. Okay, so uh, after about 10 minutes of sitting on the rack here... And now, if you don't have a rack, you can just put it on the counter or a cutting board or whatever. Uh, but you just want them to, to cool for about 10 minutes. Uh, if you do have a rack, you can do this like, neat flipping trick. And you, know, you can use a pizza box if that's all you got. But uh, just find something. Flip them over um, or just plop them right on the counter if you're feeling brave. But the uh, point is just get those pans inverted. Give them a little shake. And look at that. 
six delicious loaves, or if you just got the loaf pan, then one delicious loaf of triple chocolate banana bread. Go on. You should be proud of yourself. Go on. That's right. You did it. All right. Well, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, type in the box below something delicious you would like. Um, feed this to your friends and family. Put a little dab of butter on there. See, it doesn't look great. They're going to think you're a wizard. They're going to think you're a food wizard. This is uh, cooking for adults.